Valentine's Day. Um, where do I start with that? I've avoided it my whole life. You're expected to get a gift and every place is booked. You gotta sit like right next to people that also don't wanna be there. And all the guys have been stressing out. All the girls have all these lofty expectations. Any married man can tell you, scout and feel what she wants first. Like, you know, three weeks in advance. Nice dinner, flowers when I get home, maybe a baked good. You got two people who are like totally into it and all just like going nuts. I love you, I don't always like you. Congratulations. For our first date, I was all about huge jumper from Reebok. Uh, I looked like a goober. Flowers, just do it. You just have to do it. You just have to do it. She's a ballerina, so we'll probably go to some sort of play and a classic rom-com, something like that, dinner in a movie style. Hey, don't worry about it. It's over with, it's done. Let's get back to dating. I never know what to say. I honestly have no clue. I just trust the person. Just do whatever looks most natural with my hairline, which led to some interesting interpretations. I feel like necklines are just my biggest pet peeve. Neckline? <laughs> like here. Yeah, they were yeah. talking about like the back. Oh, oh, I was like. Um, I don't even know really what that means. Uh, I go squared up all the way. I don't like rounded edges. I think it just looks a, a little bit crisper. I usually do squared off, yeah. The obvious answer is tapered obviously tapered. I just typically tell them whatever my wife wants because I can't see it. She's the one that has to look at it. Yeah, I can't see the back of my head. It kind of just does what I want. Sometimes it's... When it's a bad thing in the back where like the sides are like... I definitely have had like the small mirror and realized it's way too high. Just say tapered.